Hello, I'm Paul Weller and you're watching Amoeba.com. Pick two records that every home should have. Tropicalia, which is a compilation right, from a label called Soul Jazz. Late 60s, <clears throat> Brazilian music, which kind of took over from Bossa Nova. Every track's great, I would say, on this anyway. Osmond Tantis, Catano Veloso, Gilberto Gil. <laughs> One of my favourite records of all time, I love Supreme John, John Coltrane, is Hymn to God. So it's got some very spiritual overtones to it, but absolutely amazing, all of it's really beautiful. If you don't know it, you should really, really check it out. T-Rex, which I've not seen in England, I'm sure it's out in the UK, but um, it's uh, the 40th anniversary, yeah. Electric Warrior, which is a T-Rex album from the early 70s, uh, which is, you know, was mega as well. It's got so many great tracks on it. He pre preempted Bowie in some ways, David Bowie, in kind of um, kick-starting the 70s for all the kids who kind of missed out in the 60s, but too young to kind of really be part of the 60s thing. But he kind of sort of looked and dressed and spoke for a lot of, uh, of kids at that time anyway. There's new Taming Parlour Records, Lonerism, great Australian band, I don't know where they're from, maybe Brisbane or something like that. This is their third album, Modern Psychedelic Music. They're only, they're only young, but they've got a kind of different take on psychedelic music, very colourful, but tuneful as well, mel melodic. <laughs> It's another great series of compilations, right, with Ethiopian music from like the 60s and 70s. It sort of borders African music and it also has a kind of element of uh, Arabic sort of music in it as well, Middle Eastern Arabic music and just amazing sound, you know, it's a different sound to our, to our ears in the West. But really, uh, really amazing music, beautiful melodies and the language is very um, fluid and, and poetic. But that's a great series. This is uh, talking of psychedelic music. This is the American issue. This is called Heaven Is In Your Mind, which is which was kind of uh, I think it's like the second UK album they put out. But it's got some different tracks on it. They put some of the UK singles on this record. So this is a reissue, which is nice to have, and it's in mono. Rodriguez, which is nice to see that he's kind of back in people's conscience again because it's he went missing for some time anyway for probably I don't know, 40 years or something. But they made a documentary about him very recently anyway. Thanks for keeping me alive. <laughs> people maybe know that's true of his Sugar Man, which is off a very very early album of his late 60s, early 70s. Sugar Man, you're the answer that makes my questions disappear. I bought a Stockhausen record. I only know some of these things, and I don't even know what the titles are, but avant-garde, you know, I don't know what they call that sort of music. I suppose experimental avant-garde music. Great textures in it, anyway. Made in Germany. <laughs> Dinah Washington. He's one of my all-time favourite singers. She's songs like September in the Rain and uh, What a Difference a Day Makes and just, yeah, beautiful, beautiful voice. Blues, but, you know, something else going on as well. She was a great artist. But that's just a small, this is not even a tip of the iceberg in this beautiful shop of yours. I could probably spend like a week in here and then I'd be only be at the tip of the iceberg probably. Mm. 
Bye.